Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to look at stable video diffusion. You know, it's it's a it's an AI model that has been developed by Stability AI, you know, that basically generates videos from images. Okay. Now the currently Stability AI, you know, they work in the field of basically image generation or now also the video generation and they have given multiple uh, models to the diffusion models to the open source community and also there are some closed source model that you know we can leverage now if you look at here i am on their hugging face it says stable video diffusion image to vid which is svd which is uh, there is one more model so currently they offer two models one is this currently that you see on my screen the other one is SBD XT, which is image to video XT model, which takes more frames, you know, which takes around 24 frames, and this one takes around 14 frames. Okay. Now, basically, when I say it takes, it can generate frames, okay, at a resolution of some uh, uh, image dimensions. Now, uh, image to vid SBD, it it is trained to generate 14 frames at a resolution of 576 x uh 1024 and the uh image to vid xt the other one uh, which is trained to generate 24 frames you know at a resolution of 576 x 1024 again now so here is a hugging face repository they have given how to use the research paper etc etc right now here is the collab notebook that is that has been provided by uh mk singh you can see it says this was made by mk singh the maybe uh, show some credit to the guys you know here and the code base is available you can find out uh, visit the following link for the details of stable video diffusion so once you do right click it takes you to the github repository by the way of the generative models where you can find out the uh, notebook samples etc now the other one is on hugging face that i currently am um, on this repository and you can find out the licenses which is a non-commercial community license okay so that is something that you have to take care if you are working for an enterprise and you want to use this commercially you have to be careful about that now uh the good thing about this models these models are that you know they are they, they have been seen as a competitor uh, when it comes to runway gen 2 or some other uh, video generation services right so I think this is important for the open source community as well right we will see more video generation models soon you know we have seen llms which which have capabilities of vision like for example lava and uh, other models that we have seen in the open source community now uh, you can do this on free gpu on google collab i think you do not need a, a collab pro but i do have collab pro with me and i'm just using t4 but with the high ram so it's again it's right you can use t4 for free and that's what i'm going to do here so let's just come and uh, run this thing so let's run it it says run anyway now what it does is it's going to install a few things uh, clone some github repository it will install gradio it will install other uh, required libraries and dependencies so uh, let it happen uh, yeah and we'll show you that how you can uh, generate a sort so there are a few ideas that you can look at it here when it comes to uh, what kind of huge cases you can work with uh, here so you can you know combine uh, an image generation model with if you want to really generate a cool video out of it for some client presentations some kind of presentations where you want to show your creativity right so you can use these models to come up with a short video and you can just explain them maybe some kind of advertisement or some you know few frames don't expect that it can generate a lot of frames right which is not possible at this moment you know so let's see it out then it wanna install uh, let it install okay uh, it's installing you find out this code has been given by uh, them as well if you look at here it says collab hack for sbd it says uninstall few things and upgrade the numpy if you are getting any error uh, earlier then it has it downloads the weights you can find out the version okay different version over here you have sbd xt uh, you can find out over here right select sbd and sbd xt okay so let's keep it by default it said this will take several minutes okay for 14 frames generations and for 25 frames generation uh and in one of the upcoming video guys i'm gonna cover about lcm lora 
you know which is also uh it's, it's, i think it's really good so latent consistency model that that helps accelerate the generation of this uh like this diffusion models which generates images so we're going to cover those techniques in the next video and we'll see how that can help uh speed up the stable diffusion and hd excel kind of a model that we use right it, it it increases from 7x to 10x so we're gonna use those techniques but uh, not in this case now i'll see if it has it's still installing it uh, you can see it okay so let me pause it and once it gets uh installed i will resume back the video all right as you can see that uh all the required libraries and dependencies have been installed once you uh once you install it for the first time you have to do a restart runtime so uh, please restart runtime and once you restart runtime then you just run the next uh, cell and i already have ran the next cell and here i have downloaded the weights just to save some time because this might take a few minutes depending on the internet bandwidth that you are on and you can see it says download from so you download from this uh, particular hugging face repository and it saves in the checkpoint sbdxt.safe tensor so it, it has a safe tensor format i think that's the right way of doing it and you can find out here in the checkpoints we have sbdxt.safe tensors now if you want to use the other version which is svd for 14 frames uh, you can also do that you know you can just uh, say svd uh, change it over here and then it will install that particular uh, model weights Okay, so the model weights will get saved in this particular checkpoints now once you download that from uh, hugging face repository you can see it's very easy steps it says the version it has a couple of paths over here and in that path you can find out one is for sbd and the other one for, other one is for sbd xt and then it has a couple of utilities here that's happening like creating folder saving it right there if there is no folder something like that right now i've already loaded the model you know again just to save some time a few seconds uh if you are on the free version load the model only once okay uh, on collab it might give you good out of memory if you do it continuously right if you're trying to load the model again and again in the same runtime so load it only once you can see the model has been loaded successfully you can see it says uh 100 is loaded the 890m file right the model weights has been loaded into, into the memory you know in the cuda memory now it also you just open clip PyTorch because that's the one of the requirement which is around 3.94 GB and you can find out the model has been loaded right now okay now the next step is a sampling function so just let's just run it do not change anything over here okay it uses a bit of computer vision etc for the sampling now here it says do the run it says it says generation takes about 10 minutes for SBD XT on t4 which is collab free plan please be patient so it will take a bit of time you know and that's why i recommend using a premium which is collab pro you can use a hundred or v hundred gpus if you have i do have but i wanted to show you on the uh this uh free version of it so let's start running it So basically it's a gradio application uh, that uh, that has been uh, basically that that will get created over here. you will see a gradio uh, thing it's loading over here you can also uh, run on public url you can also open it in a separate browser you know in a separate tab not the browser i mean a separate tab in the same browser you can do it and here in this uh, let's drop an image so what i'm going to do is maybe i'm just going to go and downloads and use this uploading one file and you can see that file has been uploaded so i have created this image using mid journey which is opened here you can see this is the image that i have generated from an image generation uh, service which is why mid journey available on through their discord channel okay so i have generated this you can use dali 3 you can use any other of uh, service if you want to use an image generation model but you can use any other uh, set of images as well or an image as well uh, for this task now this is what i have done it says resize to optimal size so just click on that so it resizes it and then you have to do a uh, click run over here so let's just click run 
Now, once I do click run, you can see it's the start processing. And as you say, right, it will take around uh, a few minutes. So what I will do, I will pause the video and then we'll we'll come back and we'll see the results that we get from this. So let me just pause the video here. All right, uh, you can see that uh, we got our output, which is a three seconds uh, like a video. So as we all know, right, these are good for uh, creating GIF, uh, the GIF that you can create. Uh, I don't know what we pronounce, we call it GIF or GIF, whatever, right? So it helps you in those kind of things where you can, uh, uh, but you can also create multiple uh, shorter three seconds, four seconds uh, videos and you can merge it all together, right? If you have some concepts in your mind and you can see we got our output over here. Uh, let me just show you. Okay, here was the image that we have fit to this stable diffusion stable video diffusion image to vid hd uh, model that we fed uh, hdxt and uh, sbd uh, sorry sbd tx model and uh, now you can find out let me just click on here to download this video and i'll just download it or you can also play it over here let me just play this video you can see that we have started downloading okay and I, you know you, you see it says Euler EDM sampler you know and that's the sampling that we have used over here you know if you go over here and see it uses the Euler uh, sampler I, I can maybe I'll probably explain that shortly that what we mean by uh, Euler EDM sampler uh, let's uh, first see the response and once you see the response you can find out a very you can see right it's, it's it has some kind of movement you know it's it's like a have some frames which are uh, continuous in motion you can find it out and you can see it perfectly synced as well right uh, look at the syncing up here with the different motions segments you can find out it's it's like it it does a good job and uh, i think that's a good start we really want to compete with runway gen 2 nobody wants to pay you know that much of money for using it and you can see it says uh video does not have browser compatible container or codec converting to mp4 etc etc right so have those kind of uh, code snippet into it now they 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 have here something called euler edm sampler it says sampling with euler edm for 31 steps and it took 31 step and it took me around it, it didn't take me of course 10 seconds uh, 10 minutes by the way sorry but it took around uh you know for me it took around uh three to four minutes now what do we mean by euler edr sampler guys so let me just write it uh, quickly and see how that what do, what does it do here you know in this process so basically if you if you talk about uh uh this which is an acronym for explicit discrete method we have studied this in our you know in the time of numerical techniques when we were working uh, when we were studying engineering we would have a subject called numerical methods right and that's where we have seen this kind of uh, technique these are sampling technique which has been used in uh, computational mathematics okay this is where used but i will probably uh, will show that how they are using here for image generation uh, task okay because this is not the actual use case of this sampler this has been used in you know simulating uh, paths of solution uh, to HDEs now if you don't know HDEs it's an acronym for stochastic differential equation so the purpose of using EDM sampler is completely different you know it's a it's a it's a discrete approximation like meaning it calculates the path of the HDE at discrete time steps. Okay, so this has been used in those kind of differential equations uh, where the model systems that are influenced by random forces, these have been used in the fields like finance, you know, the biology, physics, etc. You know, it's one of the simplest methods to numerically solve these kind of equations. Okay, so this has been used in uh, computational mathematics. I'll just write it over here. Now this is where it it basically it gets uses uh it has i actually i forgot the uh, formula of it but i i just maybe how they have been using it in image generation model based on your gans or the variational auto encoders or the other uh, new of the diffusions models or the algorithms right uh so it, sampling is by the way is an essential process guys when it comes to image generation models so these models often learn a distribution over the data and 
during the generation steps once we were generating it for uh, the, for that particular image uh, sample from this distribution to produce new images that's where it helps okay that, so the quality and diversity of the generated images depend significantly on how well the model can sample from this learned distribution that's where sampling is important so it works on both the quality and diversity okay so i'll just uh, give you a high level concept here a few pointers that where the edm euler edm sampler or similar sampling methods can be helpful the first is of course right here yeah, because we have a latent space so that will help you navigating the latent space that's the first thing that it does that's why we use sampling when it comes to image generation task that's the first thing now uh, in models like GAN and VAEs, images are generate, generated from a latent space, right? A high dimensional space where each point can be decoded into an image. So the, so the effective sampling methods are needed to navigate this space and find points that decode into high quality images. So it, that's helps, that helps you in the navigation, okay, in the latent space. That's the first thing. The second thing is, uh, how should we write it? Maybe handling uh stochasticity and i forgot now the spelling of stochasticity uh it should be h t o c h a s t i i hope this is right right so it also helps you handling this stochastic uh, uh stochasticity so mainly in the generative models the generation process involves randomness basically stochasticity is like a synony synonyms used for randomness so i'll just write it because you know recently with temperature right in open ai we have heard this word a lot right randomness how random your responses are now so for instance in vaes the decoder generates images from random samples uh, that it drawn from a latent space the sampling method ensures that this randomness leads to meaningful variations right that's what it does right to basically it's it removes the noise guys and it, it does not it overlooks the noise that's what we have seen in gan and vae right so that is the second thing. A few things that we also should consider about sampling when you are using these uh, diffusion models if you want to build your own. That is improving diversity to generate better for better generation. So improving diversity. The biggest challenge I will say in image generation model is to ensure diversity in the output while maintaining fidelity to the training data. So it has seen some training data. Now you are asking something to generate something new and that's where the diversity comes in, right? So sampling techniques helps, sampling techniques basically help in exploring different regions of the learned distribution. So leading to a diverse set of generated images. That's what mid journey focuses on a lot. Okay, and I think that's a black box. We don't know what kind of uh, techniques that they have used, but now a few things which are left that I can also recall is, Maybe temperature control, but I think that will fall under randomness. But anyway, temperature control. This is also important. Uh, sampling methods that include temperature parameter that controls the randomness of the sample. Lower temperature will basically lead to a less random. That's what we have also seen with the uh, LLMs. While higher temperature increases diversity, but that can decrease your sample quality, right? So these are the region, guys. You know, we have so they have used Euler EDM sampler in this case. If you look at this particular thingy over here on the collab, which says uh, sampling with Euler EDM sampler, and you can find out the uh, code for uh, here for the sampling purposes. You can look at, and of course, with different, so you can see the denoiser where they look at denoising and they focus more on so they do not do not look at the noise not only the noise but they look at the meaningful variations okay so on the randomness and that's where stochasticity is coming in play right with the denoiser and so yeah i think this is i think this is fine uh you do not have to go really deep into uh, the code base if you really want to focus on inference you can also use this through replicate if you want to use it you can uh, use through the replicate apis as well but this is what i wanted to show you guys in this video i just wanted to uh, keep you updated that there is a new model stable video diffusion which is for generating videos we have i have a lot of videos on video generation as well basically it's a combination of few frames uh, we have video on video crafter earlier we have potat one so we have couple of other videos that you uh, might use i can give the link in the description that you can also explore those models to generate gif gif videos or uh, advertisement etc etc right so 
the link of this note uh, notebook will be uh, given in the description through my github repository it's also available on hugging face so yeah uh, that's all looks promising we will keep on working on this and we'll see how it evolves okay so hope you like the video guys uh, if you like the video please hit the like icon and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel and keep supporting so a lot of videos are coming on generative ai and different topics and yeah that's all for this video guys thank you so much for watching see you in the next one